and this is Jade, Ashley Spencer once again, and today we are going to be making some nettle beer. I don't know if I'm gonna probably put in the other video that I'm taking out the uh, Nuki Brown Ale stuff out and then put it into the f fermentation vessel or something, but I'm actually filming this first, so. Basically, I got I, I got my my stuff. No, the, the bottles that I just saw it. I was just like, I'm gonna buy it. Uh, basically, Snickers. No, I just saw that and I bought it. Basically, uh, we're gonna be making lemon and honey. I should I, I should have got a lemon first and then got the honey. But yeah, so we got the honey here. So I'm gonna be making with two um, honey and then two lemons. Two honeys and two lemons. So look. And then, there's no ginger in there, but this looks like it will fit the, the thing. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Hopefully it does. There's, I don't know if they're long or, I don't, I don't know what stem ginger is. Is it just like, it looks like, it looks like onions. So whatever, we'll be putting a few of them in. So yeah. So I'm going, right now I've got shorts on and I'm going to go into a very sting and nettle infested area. Let, let, let's just, I'll meet, I'll meet you down there and I'm just gonna walk down there and see how much there is because if there's absolutely loads, then I'm just gonna, gonna get changed because I don't wanna die. Sting nettles hurt, they really hurt. They taste all right, but they hurt. So basically, I went upstairs and I thought about it. I was just like, screw it. I change into the uh, tracksuit bombs. Because what's the point of going out there for about 10 minutes and just getting stung to like heaven and back? So I was just like, screw it. We'll, we'll just wear some tracksuit bombs and then go out and collect. What we need is collect and then we can just change after. So yeah. Right, I'm going to go out there and uh, we're going to be cutting some nettles, baby. Okay, so honestly, I thought there'd be a lot more nettles out here. There really isn't that many. So it's kind of good that we've come out already. Uh, let's try and find them. So for this, you literally need two of everything. So two, two lemons, two honeys, I'm gonna say two stem gingers or ginger, piece of ginger, and then uh, two bags of nettles. So yeah, basically what you wanna do, I know I've said this before, but you wanna trim the top off, like like this bit here. Let's go here. You don't want the crappy little leaves at the bottom, or crappy big leaves at the bottom. You can, but I've been told not to. So yeah. Don't worry about the bugs because we'll take them off after. Okay, so I've got all my sting nettles. I only got one bag, because I thought about it, and normally, like with pasta, I always make two bags, and I have way too much, but I don't, I don't want that many, because uh, I can't be bothered to make another one. It's kind of bad that, um, I think I've kind of skipped out on the whole season of sting nettles. 
So yeah, it's probably been my last one actually. If I can find another place, another good place, but yeah. All right, next up you want to do is get one of these salad spinners and just fill it up. And then you just want to dunk all the nails in there, basically. Gonna fill it up halfway. I'll tell you, actually, first of all, just, just use it as a bubble first. So take out the actual spinner, have it like this. And then, yeah, just dunk all the nettles in there. Basically, you don't want all the... There, there will be spiders and flies and moths and everything in here. I've just seen one fly out right now. Is that a spider? Yeah, that's a spider. Basically, you just want to dunk it in there so everything floats to the top. Um, there we go. Yeah, this should be enough actually. So I'd say one full, the equivalent of the new Sainsbury's bags. For a 25 litre of 40 pint brew, basically. So you want to just fill that to the top, just leave it. So leave it for about good for like 20 minutes or so. Things you can just see everything fashion out. I'll take leave it outside, just let it let the creepy crawlies go, and then uh, yeah, leave it on the back outside as well. You don't want everything running about your you can. This gives me enough time to uh, do my next video, or oh, the video before this. But yeah, so you just want to leave it out there for about 20 minutes each time, and then uh, we'll get on to the, the hob work. So yeah, I won't prepare these yet. I'll prepare, I'll start to prepare these once you um, get everything on the hob, basically. And um, by the way, if you haven't got it yet, get 500 kilograms of sugar. Any sugar, really. I want to try with brown sugar, but I've only got the white granulated sugar at the moment. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll catch you when they're done. Okay, so I'm back. Basically, what I've done is I've put all the... Um, taken all the nettles out of here. No, I've got nettles in here at the moment. Put them into a bag. So I like, dried them off. Well, not, not completely dried them off, but yeah, whatever. And now I'm taking little clumps, putting them in here, uh, soaking them for a few minutes, then uh, doing the whole spinning lettuce thing. Why is that so simple? I don't know. And then um, for two turns, and then I'm taking the rest, washing them off first in the little thing, and then putting them in here. I'm just going to continue that cycle once I've got all of them done. So, yeah. Should I film it? Let's film it.
God, that takes so long. Um, right, so I'm going to say just before we begin to tidy up, we're literally nowhere into the process yet, but yeah. um, so you want to whack the kettle on. Uh, six cups, I, d I don't know how much that is. I think it's about what the hell? It's a little, it's a little, I think things are called like, called like jumping frogs or some crap like that. Uh, would you ping off my hand? No, <laughs> it'll ping off my hand because I dropped it on there. However, um, yeah, you, you want to. Like a kettle like this. I don't know how many litres it is. I'm sorry. It says six cups. It says eight cups. So eight mugs full of water. Basically, pour that in. And then, um, yeah. I'd say do, do two kettles full of water. Put it in. And then um, start to put it on the boil. So, yeah. Okay, so I would say just before we start, I've already started, completely forgot to do this, but what are you going to need? Alright, so you're going to need nettles, access to nettles, they're basically a weed anyway, so no one's going to say anything when you start digging them up. You need water, like kettle and all, all that, you need a hob as well. Um, two lemons. Uh, see, I'm the only person I recollect from using honey. We're, we're using honey, so I'm going to say two honey jars full of honey. Then you either want the actual ginger or stem ginger. And I've just got a, um, I don't know how much, oh, 350. So, uh, uh, drained weight of, yeah, whatever. In the honey, it's 454 four grams of honey. So, yeah. You also want some creamy tartar. Uh, I just got this from Waitrose. And this just includes loads of sachets. So yeah. And then you want some yeast. Don't mind the Snickers. Snickers are just there. It's, it's not doing anything. Same as pot noodles, just there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all you need, like equipment wise. You need a hob, you need a kettle, you need one of these strainers. I'd say a salad spinner as well, they're pretty good. Like a pan like this. I don't know how big this pan is, but it's like the biggest out of these, so yeah. Um, you also need one of the buckets, uh, the like brewing buckets, that's a big thing. And a, bit, and a spoon, and, and sugar, sugar. 500 kilogram, um, 500 grams of sugar, that's what you need. And yeah, that's all of it, so yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so I already poured in a bit of it. It's starting to give that lovely nettle aroma. Kind of smells like uh, spinach. Basically, uh, I'm going to switch it to three. Actually, no, no, two should be enough because I can see the water right now. But you want to just drain this all over the nettles so they just break down. I'm just going to say it right now. There may be little bugs in here, but... There's little bugs in bread that get killed every day and all that, and yeah. If you're that much of a vegan vegetarian, then this isn't for you. Unless you want to properly check, check through and all that. But with me, no, I'm, I'm alright. Right, I'm just going to pat down some of this. Just get it underneath. See, look, the water's already tends, starting to turn that greeny, a lovely greeny colour. Right, so you want to submerge as much of this as possible. And then you want to take it to the hob. So I'm going to say um, put it on the, on the simmer. Just, just whack it to uh, that one there, the full flame. And then after about 10 minutes, then put it on to simmer. And then have it on there for about 15 minutes. And yeah, from the 10 minute mark, that's when we're going to start preparing all our other stuff. So yeah, let's get on to that. So I've got the hob in there. Oh, the hob. Uh, thing here. 
Oh, it's completely gone. I don't know, all the words have just gone out on it. Um, yeah, no idea. So you want to put it on the full flame first. Just let it go on there for about 10 minutes because you don't want it to start boiling over and all that. Once it's on there for about 10 minutes, uh, then switch over to simmer for about 15 minutes. So yeah. All right, uh, now the fun bit. The bit where you've been waiting for. <laughs> so we're gonna need, we're gonna need a knife. Yeah, a big spoon as well. Now I'm going to get the bucket in <laughs> it. Honestly, this bit's probably the easiest. I haven't actually got the like normal ginger that I normally get. So that has saved me a hell of a lot of time. So I'm just going to cut through these. If you got one of them um, lemon squeezer things, I highly recommend one there. Oh god, there's just a bug here. Go away. Go away, I just killed it, but whatever. Um, yeah, so if you got if you've got one of these, highly recommend one. So that just saves you a ton of time. What you wanna do is just squeeze it on there. Try and get the most out of it. Don't worry about all the little, all the little bits, because we're gonna, before we pour it into, or before we pour the whole concoction into um, the bucket, we're gonna strain it, because. With all the bits, it's quite grim. I've, I've already done it like that in my last nestle beer attempt. Everyone's been like, what's that? I'm just like, uh, the bits. So don't, don't actually chuck away this yet. Uh, the skins. We're gonna chuck, we're gonna chop them up a bit when it's on the simmer and we're gonna chuck them in. We want to get every bit of juice out. So yeah. Just don't want the seeds going in. Well, you can have the seeds going in, but how do you want to do that? This whole process takes takes about two to three months. I'm gonna say like two months, because actually three months. Because after a month it tastes quite weird. And after two months, it tastes a bit nicer after three months. And that's that's what you want. This home brew beer definitely tastes nicer if you leave it longer. So yeah. That's what I recommend. I'm actually supposed to be meeting my mate right now. But my YouTuber for my mates. chop these in half once again chop them into cores kind of like lemon zest oh, I guess it kind of 
is actually. Obviously, uh, I don't see why you would, but try not to cut yourself because that would sting like hell. Right, so that's all cut up. Now we're going to move on to the stem of ginger. Let's just keep that seeping through. Right, stem ginger next. Uh, what else that? Yeah. I've never actually used stem ginger, so. I don't know what I'm in here. Alright, I'm going to say, if we take, if we take three of these, Alright, that's gone over. So I'm going to quickly take it off and then we'll put it back on. That syrup tastes nice. Mm. Right. So I'm going to take three of them. And then we're just going to put it in. Is there any point of washing my hands? I don't know. So that's all overflowing. Sick. Basically, just lift it off. Turn, turn it off any for a second. And you just want to jab it down a bit. Alright, next we're going to get all the things that we just cut up and all that goodness. And submerge the uh, lemons. It's giving off a very weirdly Christmassy vibe. I don't know why I'm getting this smell, but yeah, probably all the little insects dying or something. I don't know. I don't know why my fridge is making that noise. It's a very angry fridge. Alright, we're just going to leave that on the simmer for a little bit. Oh god. Just noticed another little... Yeah, so leave this on the simmer. Let it go its own pace right now. You don't want it bubbling over and you losing all the liquid. Um, 
All right, I'm gonna clear up a little bit. I think I'm actually gonna pour in some honey. Um, Doing this quite haphazardly because uh, I need to be somewhere. Right. So this is 450 uh, liters. Grams, that's it. That's just got grams on it. Yeah. So we're going to put 100 grams in. I can't actually do it with this one. It's specific. Right, so we're going to put 100 grams in it. Wait, is that going to work out? Shoot. That's sugar. Oh no. Right. I'm going to say put in half the jar of this. Then the rest. Yeah, so that's about half. Half right there. Then the rest we'll put in some other day. Some other day we'll mind that. We'll get in um, off this little bit complete. Right, so we've got it here. Try and get as much out as possible. I know this seems really haphazard, but compare it to my other ones, other metal ones, this seems quite orderly compared to it. Now that is giving off a really weird smell. Now at this heat, it should be able to kill off most of the nasties. So what I'm going to do, what I haven't done before, is I'm going to heat it up, drain it, and then heat it up, but just with the liquid in there. And then we're going to cool it down and all that. So, yeah. the top let it simmer for a bit and then uh, we're gonna be starting the next bit which entails you getting a uh, brewing bucket so let me go and get that and a brewing spoon as well and then um, and then yeah okay so it's done brewing now um, brew thing now um, simmering 
basically all we're going to do is you want to get um, think, think. <laughs> take this off the hob first just going to whack the camera around here now uh. There you go. Take it off the hob. It, sm it smells like tequila right now. I don't know why. It's a bit weird. Um, basically, I'm going to get this. I've completely forgotten what this is called. Uh, use it for spaghetti. And I'm literally going to scoop it. Into here. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna scoop it into a. Uh... What the hell is that? A sieve. I'm sure there's a sieve in here. Oh, there it is. Well, a metal sieve. That's it. It melts. So yeah. I want to get all that all over in the sounds. Use this to so separate everything. I don't want to come out in big clumps, and that is exactly what it's doing. Alright, so basically we're going to put this back on, uh, that's it, the boil, that, that's what it was called, um, but yeah, we're not boiling it right now. I'm going to put this back, uh, let's just simmer for a bit, I just want to try and just want to try and drain what is in um, this thing, uh, this conda. Let's just drain it like that. Normally I would say like properly squish it, but honestly, I don't think it's worth it anymore. <laughs> like I've done that from day one and you don't really get that much juice out of it, so yeah. Just do this for about a minute. Try and get as much out as possible and then yeah. Okay, that'll do. I'll do donkey, that'll do. You just wanna chuck this it's basically on your um on your compost. Pour the rest of this back in. So that's boiling away right now. Oh, uh, simmering away. Yeah, basically just chuck that in your compost. Good, good for your compost. It's all broken down, so we're gonna, the worms are going to love that stuff. So we're going to love our cider. So yeah, so I'm just going to chuck that away right now. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and I'm going to take it off right now. Basically, you want to get an equally big pot. I know this doesn't seem that big, but I'm pretty sure they are the same size. You just want to pour this one into that one. Be careful, because it could go everywhere. That's what I'm scared about right now. But, um, yeah, I would suggest doing this right in, right in the middle in case, yeah.
Right, I'm just gonna double check it there. Right, that's only filled up with one. Cool. So if you see how I'm pouring it, I'm kind of like, I'm not pouring it straight over, I'm doing it slowly so it's running off the bottom. Basically, all is finished. Uh, like, we just put the last little drip in. Alright, that's good. Sweet. So, I'm going to say if you want to leave it for about, I don't know, like 10 minutes to cool down for a bit. And then yeah. Like we're, we're, when it when it's cooled down a bit, we're gonna basically run it through like one of these and then um yeah into this washed up pan. Well it shall be washed up. Back into there and we're gonna put it back in the hob and then we're gonna start doing the actual beer making side of thing. Oh like more in tune with the beer making sort of thing. So just leave that to stand for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do next is I've just had the most ingenious idea ever. I'm essentially gonna siphon out this, but then have this here, so it siphons into this, and then it's just gonna make it nice and clean and pure. So yeah. Um, Oh, actually, I didn't think about this. How's it going to stay in? <laughs> Some mucked up here. Oh, actually, no, I don't know that. Oh, have I? Have I? Or have I not? Bang. Hang on a second. It's not going to work, is it? That's not just like that. Uh... Basically, I thought this was going to be a really clever idea. It won't turn out that clever. Just burnt myself and, uh, yeah.
got to pick up one, then uh, that'll probably be where I've messed up. Hmm. Okay, so I've got an idea. I'm, this is going to be really quick because I'm only 5%, which is fine. Okay, I'm going to get out in a bit. But basically, to strain it out, um, I've been trying many ways. Basically, just grab a mug, grab one of these, and then you're just going to pour it in, then pour it through the strainer. And then, like this. If you've got a big strainer, then by all means you can side it, you can pour it, but you just want to catch all the little nasties that may still be in your brew. You want it to be as pure as possible. Right, after this, you want to give it one last boil, simmer, and then we'll get on to the next bit. I might be doing the next bit tomorrow, I, I don't know. Must be me and my mate, she's going to be really angry, or whatever. So I'm going to attempt to pour the next bit. Sweet. There you go. Lovely. So I'm going to leave on the simmer for about another five minutes. And then, uh, yeah, get back to you. Okay, so basically what uh, we're doing, literally 6% again. Right, you're going to get this. Um, it doesn't need to be cooled down because normally you would add a hot water, but this is boiling hot, so yeah, whatever. You want to put this into there, and then you want your 500 uh, grams of sugar to go in there as well. Basically, what I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to be adding both of these, so two full jars, of honey in there as well and then we will fill it up to the max so that here then add cream to tartar and then uh, let it sit for about five minutes then add the yeast so that's our mission okay so i would have loved this video to be nice and professional right now we're going to be speeding through this section so you want to get your your brew. Basically, just pour it straight in. So there you go. How much is that? That's that's about two and a half <coughs> liters. All right. Next up, you want to get your five hundred kilogram, uh, five hundred <coughs> grams of sugar. Basically, this stuff is the actual beer itself. is It's kind of like really clear. So hopefully, some of this honey and all that will give it a bit of flavour. And we're just going to be doing the same with the other one as well. Just trying to get as much out as possible. See, so it's technically not wasting your money. Is that what are we on? Or five percent? Cool. Don't care about 
this oh, thing. Honestly, when you're making this, you do get slightly weirdly lightheaded. I don't know why. It's probably their aromas and all that. But yeah, I get I get lightheaded making this. I don't know if I've just randomly found a drug or something. But yeah. I say boil the kettle and fill these two up and then uh, and just add them again. Uh, what was I going to add? Oh yeah, so now we have to take it uh, upstairs or wherever you can get quick cold water and then fill it up to the 25 or 23? Yeah, 23 litre mark and yeah. Okay, so we're up here. Basically, we're gonna be filling it up to the 23 mark with cold water. I'm just gonna leave it on there. Just give it a little stir. Oh yeah, something's coming out. So when we add the yeast, hopefully it'll just fall in. I oh, don't know, it misses. No, it misses. And then you just want to add your yeast. I've got mine from Wilco if you're in England. I don't know where you're going if you're in America, but I don't think there's Wilco in America. Uh, yeah, so you just want to stir that all in. Do they even have steam mills in America? I don't know. I'm not sure that might just be a European thing. Some of this yeast will just sink, or well, most of it will just sink to the bottom, some will stay out. But not. Make it swirl. Sweet. And that is it. That is it. That is how you make nettle cider. I will call it beer, but it didn't come out like beer, so I don't really know anymore. I'll call it beer. It's called cider. So basically, you want to put it in a warm place and just leave it for about a week, a week and a half, and then we'll start the next bit, which I haven't actually done before, so it's going to be interesting. Basically, all I'm going to do is just put it in here, and then it'll stay here for a while. Sweet. Um, you want to let this take breath of air every day in case it explodes your, uh, your bucket. So, yeah. Hey, this has been Jada Ashley Spencer and RD Brewery. Thanks for watching. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to the toilet and meet my friend. So, thanks for watching and goodbye, my friends. Bye.